it's me, sweetie, and thank you for being here for another video. For any of you out there that have worn Lolita for any amount of time, you will know that going out with your friends can be so fun, going to get tea, going to a park, having a picnic, it's the best. However, wearing Lolita for an extended amount of time can get really uncomfortable. I know at the end of my Lolita days out with my friends, I have so many amazing memories and we had so much fun, but also I have a headache, my back hurts, and my feet are torn up. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some hacks that I have found to make wearing Lolita a little more bearable. I have six items that I would like to share with you guys today to help your Lolita days out be a little more comfortable, so let's get started. And for number one, we have this guy right here. Now, something like this would usually be used as a waist trainer or a slimming device, but I like to use it for back support. So this right here is a waist trainer that I got off of Amazon. It has a porous breathable material and a nice stretch to it so it is quite comfortable to wear. I just wear it on the furthest setting out right here because I'm not trying to train my waist, I'm just trying to support my back. On the front it has two channels of boning and two on the back as well and these will give my back some support throughout the day and it really really helps. So here we have our little waist trainer. I'm going to unhook all the little hook and eyes on it. Now I did get a size small. I think I might have wanted to get a slightly larger size, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm just going to hook this all the way down. Ooh, that already feels so nice. So here you can see the bones here and then we have to in the back and obviously because it is like stretchy and tight it just feels like my core is really supported and it'll also give some barrier between my skin and the bands of like my petticoats because I usually wear two when I wear Lolita. Again, I think it's really comfortable. It's gonna give me some great support throughout the day when I've, you know, got my shoulders back and I'm feeling very proper in my Lolita. And so if you're looking for some back support as well, I really recommend this guy. And now for number two, we have these little guys. Now, living in Texas especially, wearing Lolita for me is a very sweaty endeavor, and these guys definitely help with that. These little guys are sweat guards that you can find at Daiso, so they're very affordable. You just open them up, and inside it's like a little pad that you peel off and it has adhesive on it and you basically will just sandwich this onto the armpit of whatever blouse you're wearing and it will help not only protect your Lolita wear from sweat but it'll help get the sweat off of your skin and help you be a little more comfortable. So here we go, we've got our blouse on, I've got my sweat guard right here, and it definitely covers like, like the whole circumference of your underarm. And now you're ready to go and have a nice day out without getting sweat on your nice blouse. Up next is something that I have found very recently, and that's going to be this guy right here. This will prevent you from having to use bobby pins in your wigs, yes, that's right. Here we have the Dream Lover Scarf and Wig Grip. Again, I got this off of Amazon. It's made of a really soft, porous, like velour material, and it has a Velcro closure in the back. And if you'll notice, the front of the band is wider than the back, so it stays on your head really snugly without slipping around. And the fibers of the fabric actually grip onto your wig and keep it in place. So no more having to stab your scalp with bobby pins and get a bobby pin sent headache throughout the day. Okay, so I've got my wig grip here. What I'm going to do is place this, and I'm looking in the uh, screen here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to place this just at the edge of my wig cap, and I'm going to bring it down around to the back of my head there, and I'm not going to put it on really tightly. It says that doing that can obviously give you a headache, and that is what we are trying to avoid. So I'm just going to Velcro it in the back. Now, it does feel snug, but it's not tight. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. And in fact, the fabric feels really nice and soft. So here we have one of my favorite wigs here. I'm going to slip it on. Huh, there we go. We'll just adjust it so I look a little less crazy. 
There we go. So at this point on a normal Lolita day out, I will have had pins in my wig cap, which I didn't use this time. And then I would have additional pins all over this wig to keep it in place. But with this guy, you don't need to use bobby pins. There. <laughs> I was tugging really hard and this thing did not move. The hairline is where it's supposed to be. It's where it's supposed to be over my ears. This thing does not budge. It's not gonna go anywhere. If my hair gets caught on something, if I have to bend over, it's not gonna slip around without any pins and it feels really, really comfortable. So if you get headaches really easily from having a bunch of bobby pins in your hair like I do, I really can't recommend this enough to you. Up next we have something that pretty much everyone will probably already have in their medicine cabinet, and that is going to be some trusty athletic tape. This will help make wearing your shoes a little more comfortable throughout the day. So you will probably recognize this from being found in the bottom of your own medicine cabinet or bin. And it's just a flexible, soft, breathable athletic tape that we will use to wrap our toes and make our feet fit more comfortably within our shoes. It's very inexpensive and clearly you get a lot on a roll. And we are in fact going to cut this strip in half to use for each of our feet. So like I said, we're just gonna take some of this athletic tape here, probably that much is going to be enough, and we'll just cut it like that. And then what we're also going to do is cut it down the middle like this, because you don't need the strips to be very thick for what we're doing. So there we go, now we have two little guys. Warning, you are about to see a foot on your screen. It is my foot. It is for instructional purposes only. Do not use this foot for any other reason other than being educated on what I'm about to show you. Foot warning, incoming. So here is the foot, here is the tape, and the idea is that we are going to tape together these two little toes right here, so our third and fourth toes, and the reason is there is actually a nerve between them that when a lot of pressure gets put on that nerve, especially when we're walking around in heels or any kind of shoe for a long time during the day, that is what will create a lot of the pain that we feel after we walk around in shoes like that. So we're just going to loosely tape these toes together. You don't want it to be too tight because the point of this is to relieve pain, not cause pain. So just do it enough that it will stay secure throughout the day, but not tight enough that you will cut off your circulation or anything like that. So now that these two toes are secured together, not only will it help your foot fit a little more narrowly into your shoes, it will keep the pressure from being placed on that nerve and prevent you from feeling pain in your feet. I also find that for some reason when I tape my toes together like this, I feel more balanced when I'm walking. So look out for that as well, it's very interesting. And now, continuing on the subject of keeping your feet comfortable, we have these little guys, which I did feature in my What's in My Lolita Purse video, which I will link above. This will specifically help you prevent blisters before they happen. These Hydro Seal Band-Aids are some of my absolute favorite things that I have ever found. Here is what they look like. They have like a really squishy like jelly texture and it is thicker here in the middle and thinner here on the edges. So this will really give you some cushiony protection on your heel from those shoes rubbing around and will keep you from getting blisters and stop you from having that horrible aching pain in your heel every time you take a step. So here's our little guy here. I'm just going to peel off the backing just has a normal band-aid backing to it. Here we go. Another foot warning, incoming foot again. So here we have my same lovely foot here. I usually get my blisters around this like middle area, pretty much in between my heel and my ankle. So I will just go ahead and place that guy right here smooth it down just to make sure it has a nice full contact with my skin. And there you have it, Band-Aid on foot. Very simple. 
And the final item, again, to keep your feet more comfortable throughout the day, we have a classic, which is going to be some gel shoe inserts. I have had these guys for years at this point. I'm probably due to get some more, but I love putting these in my Lolita shoes. It's got some nice arch support and heel cushion support as well. It really makes a huge difference. I notice it so much when I forget to put these in my shoes last minute before running out the door, and I really can't recommend these enough. They're quite affordable, and you can even find some off-brand ones. These are from Dr. Scholl's, uh, and they're really easy to size. You can cut them to fit your own shoe size, and I really, really love them. So here we have a lovely pair of Angelic Pretty Tea Party shoes. So the insides of these do have a little bit of a cushion to them, but it's really not enough to keep your feet super comfortable throughout the day. So all you have to do with these guys is insert it, push the toes all the way to the front, tuck the heel in, and that's it. There you go. And now your feet will be nice and comfy throughout the day while you're walking around with your friends, getting tea, whatever it is y'all might be up to. And I also find that these cushions do not take up a lot of room in your shoes. And so I think they are just perfect. So there you have it. I'm all decked out in my Lolita comfort gear. I've got my back support. I've got my sweat guards. I've got my wig security band and a menagerie of things on my feet to keep them comfortable throughout the day. Well, those are all my tips, guys. I hope you found them useful and can give them a try on your next Lolita day out. And if you did enjoy them or find them useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below or the thumbs up. It really does help me out and I appreciate it. Well, now that I'm all dressed up and feeling comfy, maybe I'll go walk around my house and pretend like I have a lovely outing to go to. Maybe I'll make my husband have tea with me. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by to spend some time with me today. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you enjoy yours as well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!